Well, Bruce Irvin came in the start of the week. He was signed to the practice squad. The first thing he thought about with this Seahawks defense was communication was a problem. Uh, how much influence could a guy like that have in a few days leading up to this game? I think it's all about watching film, too, you know, seeing the Seahawks in the previous games. If you watch the game, you can kind of see that guys was out there uh, thinking more than just playing. And then you get a veteran guy like that to come in and say that. And sometimes you might just have to, they might have just simplified things for these guys a lot, you know, where they're not thinking. And you kind of saw that today where they was running around and making plays. So you get a guy like Bruce Irvin to come here and say, hey, this is the way we used to do it and how we communicate on the field. And you take that in a whole week and then you get a chance to come home. So you get a chance to feel you got your crowd behind you. So now you can go out there and play football. Well, the interior line play was tremendous today. Brian Monet, Shelby Harris back in there. Puna Ford had one of his best games, if not his best game of the season. Uh, so maybe the trust factors coming in where those guys inside are trusting that the, they have to take care of the gap and, and just take care of their responsibilities. Uh, exactly, and, that's, and that, that's the key. You know what I'm saying? You want those linebackers to run around and make plays. And then, and again, you know, this is a little division game, so they understand what Tyler, Ky Kyler want to do. So anytime he's in the field, you got to know where he's at and what he want to do. So I thought the defense did a great job of trying to contain him and not let him get loose. Well, Kyler Murray did, you know, account for most of their running mm -hmm. yards today, and that's and that's a that's really a credit to the Seahawks defense because quarterback got loose. We know he's going to run, yeah. but they also took away his weapons downfield, except for Zach Ertz, who seemed to to to, to make his catches today. But boy, <laughs> I think the secondary uh, really took away that passing game from Kyler and forced him to do a lot of running. Oh, uh, they definitely did. You know, that's what you. I think this is what the defense wanted him to do too, though. Running, you know, you saw that in the last last quarter there where he fumbled the ball. So anytime he's out there running, he liked to run with that ball loosely. So I, I thought the defense knew if they can catch him in a vulnerable situation, they can get the ball out of him. But still, again, I thought the defense came out today and kind of cleaned up some stuff that was going on the last couple of weeks and did a great job of doing that.